Hi Josh, hi Spencer. Uh, sorry for the delay. Um, Travel to Mallorca, that bad laptop, then to another tournament, that laptop, etc. I had to work uh, a ton uh, in between the, <laughs> the travels, so sorry for the delay. Uh, okay, um, I like a lot of things, uh, like in Josh Swing, you, you guys do a lot of things really great. Um, I've seen a few things that you could improve. Um, first, what I like. Um, I like your posture from face on. You have a strong base. I don't know, this seems like a mid iron to long iron, so maybe six or five iron. So um, definitely, a narrow stance is a no no. So you are wide enough to have good sacro move, etc. Narrow guys tend to slide more and have less, have worse pelvic movements, etc. So. That's good. The, the grip is strong. The left shoulder is in the IR with the left elbow pointing at the target. So uh, I'm uh, really okay with that posture. Um, let's keep the face on going. So here uh, you have high hands, so you you have very good flexibility. Uh, hip turn is decent. Um, you have kind of a overall spine inflection. I think it's uh, it's definitely um, coherent with what you do with your pelvis. So I'll get back to it later. So we can see that your thoracic spine is still extended. So that's something you have. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't act solely on this aspect of the overall spine and try to have it like this. Um, Kelvin advocated uh, like 15 degrees or so, so that would, yeah, if, if someone without any knowledge would like to correct you, he would uh, advise you to go more here, but um, with a head here, uh, but I think it's, it would be an, uh, an error, so I like it, i get back to it later on the down the line, um, you definitely have high hands, club face is square, Many people would call it shut, but it's square, really square to the arc. Again, something good. Um, okay, so here we can see um, correct uh, pelvic rotation. Your elbow is still visible here, so you have a good elbow move. The club face didn't open that much. So again, good transition move. You have like 90% of everything right. Um, there is not a ton of slide, definitely. Um, <laughs> well, it's going to sound a little um, strange, but from uh, that wide of a stance, I uh, was expecting that you would um, not slide that much yet uh, there are things in your sacrum move in your pelvic move that could be improved so you're not sliding but you could improve the, the pelvic movements um, so yeah very decent lag I mean, you can see that you're crushing the ball I have no doubt about it the elbow is not stuck the cut face is really as good as, as it can be and your release is okay um, you still have a slight bit of an underflip. Um, maybe that's something you try and do, but with that m strong of a grip, we can see a slight bit of rolling, but it's occurring post impact, so I'm not sure it's really affecting your trajectories. Uh, from what I've seen, you have a drive hold release, a close up face. Pelvic moves are a bit off with posterior pelvic tilt kind of thrusting you that way, so I would. Imagine right path or kind of pull draw shape. Uh, uh, sorry, push draw uh, shape. Um, here it's definitely okay. Your uh, left elbow is still pointing somewhere around uh, the target. It's not. Some people have it more pinned to the chest, which would be bad. So you're disconnecting the left arm, which is good, and it's not rotating like that too much. So release is stable, it could be I think more stable with better sacred moves yeah overall a really good swing um, what I like from down the line is go to the left so posture is okay I would 
I would correct a little bit of things, um, especially the interior pelvic tilt, but I'll get back to it. Um, so, um, take away decent, club face is not getting open, you are not rotating horizontally, which is good, uh, good tilt. Okay, here, um, club face is really perfect at this point, uh, you get very good pelvic turn, shoulder turn, as we could see on the on the face on. You get a really, a really nice shoulder turn. So you're very flexible, which is good. Um, there are things that I would advise. Get back to air again, but I, well, I will do what I like first. So okay, here. Okay, I draw a little line. Well, the camera is moving, so I draw it now. I think from here it's not moving. Yeah, from here it's stationary, so, so I draw it just right here. Okay, so you have you definitely have a good flattening move. Uh, club face is not getting overly open well, while you do that uh, and your hands stay high uh, in transition so all of this is really good um, here in, you're in a good delivery, delivery position club face is not getting open so it's really perfect um, right elbow is not stuck it's in front of the right hip no problem okay so here is where we can see a little bit of the troubles um, so mainly uh, what I would focus on because uh, some people would tell you that you're very very upright but um, that's not the case if you uh, compare it to the overall trunk uh, your left arm is just it's just over the, the right shoulder so um, the hands are just over the right shoulder what I see is excessive anterior pelvic tilt definitely so from here we can see that you set up with already a big big amount of uh, um, anterior pelvic tilt so your belt is facing towards the ball towards the ground and uh, that's where you get all this tilt so here you get tilted shoulder which is good but in my opinion you're doing it because your belt is really looking a lot a lot a lot, a lot towards the ground and this um, should really increase and happen in transition to get give to make uh, the sacrum move possible and give you more rotation etc so i think it's too much and because of that uh, you're kind of loading uh, down on the on the backswing uh, because of this anterior pelvic tilt in my opinion it's also responsible because your uh, belt is pointing so much down I think it's responsible for this kind of head going right and this kind of overall spine flexion uh, because your thoracic spine is really behaving perfectly so it's not somebody who is uh, rounded and like this turtle back and with the head going right uh, your thoracic spine is re behaving really great but you get kind of this overall um, spine tilt away from target in my opinion is because the belt is, is too much in anterior, pel anterior pelvic tilt so I would recommend um, standing up with a slightly more horizontal pelvis um, kind of decreasing the amount of low doses here uh, this is very athletic this looks very athletic but I think you can't you cannot really perform good transition moves from there um, so give yourself a break uh, let this low doses uh, uh, give it a little give uh, with a slightly straighter uh, lower back and more horizontal pelvis I think it would be easier to tap in into I mean if you wanted this kind of shoulder tilt with a more horizontal pelvis firstly this left knee wouldn't bend that much um, 
uh, with the weight going a bit towards your toe that would be uh, first uh, a good thing and it would help with the sacrum move and everything that I'm going to talk about later and in order to have this kind of shoulder you will have to tap in into left la what we call left lateral bend which would, would give you this kind of aspect of the torso whereas here it looks like the spine is kind of straight and til uh, tilted because of anterior pelvic tilt so that's a move that you could uh, improve and with more of this look, this shape, more horizontal pelvis, you would be more left lateral bend and would, you would rebound into more right lateral bend. You do all these moves, you do the right lateral bend, everyone does, and you are athletic so you do it. But I think it would be a more free, freer, uh, and it would um, kind of set up a good uh, response from your body going from left lateral bend to right lateral bend it would uh, help the sacrum move which I'm going to talk about so um, okay try and have like more horizontal pelvis and uh, in my opinion because your spine thoracic spine is really behaving well I think your head won't uh, go that far to the right and have this kind of whole spine tilt um, so um, I wouldn't have act on the head solely I would act on the head because uh, more horizontal pelvis and more left lateral bend at the top so here this angle try to get it a bit more up like that trying to give you yourself a um, like um, decrease the low doses, have a little straighter lower back and kind of hunched. I mean, it's not going to be hunched, uh, but see it that way. Definitely try to decrease that kind of aspect here and gain really big lower doses here. Okay, so that. Take away everything, scapular movements, everything is fine. I mean, you have very good elbow move, shoulder move, etc. So, um, I won't mind too much. So, here I would go a slightly bit more horizontal. I think it would um, bend your knee less and have less weight on the toes, which will influence the sacral moves. And here, try to tap in more into left lateral bend. So, you are going to keep this tilted shoulder is really perfect the left arm is perfect the club fist is perfect really don't change this at all um, and um, yeah that's basically all I would do for the backswing so really not much uh, more horizontal pelvis try to keep the belt pointing here instead of towards the ground and uh, tap in into left lateral bend um, yeah Okay, for the downswing, um, here you can see that your right knee is going to go that way and your left knee that way. So they are kind of going along with the ride, along with the, the pelvic turn, etc. So I would try and get more separation between the knees. Um, here you can see that your right knee uh, came in and your left knee came towards the target. So they both go in the same direction, in the direction of the pelvis. Okay, so they all do like this everything is going like this so it's not creating any stretch shorten cycle any storage of power for the second fire so I think I think you would benefit with uh, you would get a better rotation a better second fire with with more rotation through impact and slightly um, more stable club face and more power less chance to flip etc so um, I think you could try and resist a little bit more with this right knee so right knee going here left knee you let it go in let it let it go in this direction along with the pelvis but try to resist a little bit more with this right knee and lastly because there is no <laughs> there is no not a lot of bad things really you have like everything almost down so from here if you look at the head, if you look at the pelvis, you're kind of here. 
they are not sliding which is very good but as you can see this position is increasing and increasing and increasing so you're kind of going here and the pelvis is kind of, is a bit stuck and what we can see here camera is stationary for the rest of the of the downswing I'm pretty sure I'll look at the table here but yeah it's, it's table as you can see here weight is kind of going a bit towards the toe and you lose the touch line a bit you have nice low doses here but it was the, the amount of low doses was too much right for the get go and it increased in the back swing so you cannot really retain it and from here because the weight is a bit forward because of everything the, the left knee bending that kind of stuff is playing a role but here we can see that you're thrusting and the pelvis has no really room and it's extending thrusting you that way so it's propelling you towards the ball so it, it's decreasing that kind of good right lateral bend that we're looking after so it, overall it's decreasing the um, your potential for rotation and I think this little right arm extension kind of rolling after impact is due to that because it's lacking rotation so um, what I would do slightly I think I uh, yeah uh, Josh needs to do that as well is try to have um, more left hip depth um, that sounds silly and mundane but uh, I would aim for that kind of look with uh, shoulder uh, shoulder <laughs> hip left hip flexion here the, le the left hip is kind of it's more extended if you were to have the left hip going here it would be better for rotation you would have to have more right lateral bend and you would rotate more and it would propel your whole body here instead of the pelvis thrusting and getting you a bit stuck and sleepy it's happening after impact don't worry right lateral bend is there but could be more so to make it better and in my opinion the problem is the sacrum move um, your sacrum behaves correctly here here you have a slight weight shift but then from here it's still moving towards target towards 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 target so the sacrum is pushing towards target if we had a, a, a back view we would see it clearly um, you would be kind of like I cannot draw in the black uh, okay, you would be kind of like there at the top so your sacrum which is here would go slightly towards target and then slowly go towards 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 and then go to a stop uh, good guys better guys do it um, do it differently. Yeah. Okay. So it's a back view, and we would see uh, on a very good sacrum. We would see this, and then the sacrum going around and back, away from the target. So here we can see it's moving forwards, 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 forwards. It's not a slide. I mean, your left hip is still shy of this left ankle, so it's not a big deal, but. You would benefit from having it move more under, around, and then back for your sacrum. Because here you're kind of stuck and pelvis is thrusting and you're kind of in right pelvic tilt, so you have no other option than to keep thrusting, keep having the head tilt back, uh, to keep the good moves and the good right lateral bend to stabilize things. And here we can see the same movement. so this sacral movement is a bit uh, influenced by too much APT, too much uh, left knee bend uh, you don't have tremendous left lateral bend going to right lateral bend so it's not helping the sacral move so everything I said on the backswing is going to help that sacral move away from target uh, but here, from here now if we had a back view we, we could sync up those videos and we would see uh, the sacrum trying to get one inch forward, one inch, one inch, one inch, stopping and then stalling and then when you're here you, th you thrust towards target and you lose kind of those 
good movement so you still have that rotogen but it's decreased you lost depth here you lost rotation so you would get here here more right right lateral bend and it would and the um, the pelvic thrust would happen but it would propel you that way so left instead of right now you're thrusting your pelvis is thrusting you that way so all in all uh, not much really not much um, set up with a bit less anterior pelvic tilt try to stay that way um, pelvis I mean belt buckle not looking there looking here you would end up instead of being here here kind of straight spinish <laughs> spinish you would get more horizontal same amount of tilt but more left lateral bend torso looking more like this you would have left knee less bent so less weight on the toes and it would help having perfect sacrum move which would be uh, he from here you have so much anterior pelvic tilt you cannot increase it if you were here you could increase it in transition and that's a good thing for sacrum move away from target and here you would get more space you would get more depth you would get more left hip uh, flexion and the pelvis wouldn't thrust that way and make you lose some good movements you, you're still delivering really correctly I mean <laughs> you're obviously a very really good player so, uh, it's just to make it better uh, I'm going to show you like Rio he does this uh, really really nicely so here it's a driver you can see pelvis belt buckle looking more horizontal you're are kind of here from the get-go here as you can see it's staying like pointed here you're kind of pointing there what's uh, the consequences of left knee it's it's bent I mean everyone bends but you're, you're kind of like here with the weight going forwards already so that wouldn't happen uh, in order to get trunk balance and everything you would have to have the trunk like this so more left lateral bend which would give a rebound into right lateral bend which is good and because you have such a, you would have such a level pelvis you would have room to increase anterior pelvic tilt and helping the sacrum move away and so this is not perfect angle but here you can see there's more depth and more right lateral bend than you do and when it thrusts it thrusts to in this direction not in this direction towards the ball and the amount of right lateral bend here doesn't decrease etc and he's uh, able to keep more stable club face more bent right arm and he's extending after impact of course but and it's happening slower than you and you can see here the thrusting is happening now in, in, uh, during impact giving more power more rotation and stabilizing the moves I'm not sure I'm going to see a lot of things here but yeah uh, with more pelvic I mean you can see that his spine is kind of here in the ballpark that Kelvin advocates uh, you're a bit more here he also behaves perfectly in the thoracic spine, exactly like you do, but your spine is more tilted because of this anterior pelvic tilt being excessive. Here you can see there is going to be a slight weight shift. Here the knee is resisting. Both knees are not really going along the ride and in sync with the pelvis. His right knee is resisting a bit more. It's turning less than, than the rest. And here, after weight shift, we can see that his sacrum is going to go more back, 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 back. Okay, so better overall movement. I think it's a good guy to copy for you. Um, so yeah, uh, one APT on posture, uh, not increase it on the backswing. Uh, second, 
uh, is left lateral bend because it will be necessary to have your good backswing uh, with less APT. Uh, you would have less, I mean, more level belt buckle. You, know, you would have to have more right, left lateral bend, which would, is going to be good. Three, I would go right knee in more ER. So resisting a bit more, right knee ER. And four, I would go, I would focus on the sacrum, but uh, it will be uh, enhanced by the changes in the backswing, the free APT you get in transition instead of being out of range of motion. Left lateral bend to right lateral bend reflex, so it will help all of those. Uh, and having so the sacrum moving back and away from the target. Okay, so all in all, I mean, you have a very good swing. I think some things can be improved to get more stability, a bit more power, and get things a bit more automatic. But um, no, uh, really, <laughs> you guys both have great movements, and I uh, wish you the best for the, the tournaments ahead. Bye.